Welcome to the KeyView short video about the new structure tree in version 11. First of all, why do we call it structure tree instead of assembly tree as other viewers do? Well, the structure tree in KeyView 11 has so much more to offer that the simple term assembly tree just doesn't fit anymore. While other viewers simply list all parts included in an assembly, the structure tree in KeyView 11 displays the complete structure of the opened file including all parts and their elements, down to single surfaces and geometry features. And finally all the user-defined views. So the structure tree shows all the information available in the file and in a neat order. Therefore the structure tree is divided into three sections. Model elements, other geometry and views. Let's begin with those views. In this case the views were already present in the imported file. A double click on one of the predefined views will turn the model quickly into the according view. Next to the model elements. This part of the structure tree displays all imported volumes that have been assigned to their respective bodies. In this case the drawing is structured into assemblies, sub-assemblies and even sub-sub-assemblies. Double clicking on an entry in the structure tree will focus the view on this element. With these checkboxes the elements can be toggled on and off. This works for individual parts as well as for whole assemblies and sub-assemblies. Now to the structure of the other geometry. Other geometry means all the lines, workarounds, tie-in points and so on. In most cases these geometry elements are not necessary for the visualization of the file so KeyView sorts them into this folder. This way users are not overwhelmed by the amount of now available information but get everything structured and sorted. Next to the structure tree are the familiar layer list with its so-called markup layers as well as the referenced parts. Are multiple drawings open at the same time they can be toggled by these tabs. Each drawing will of course include its own structure tree. When only the model has to be shown, the structure tree can be switched off with this panel. In the window features, the open files can also be displayed above each other or side by side. Even in the window view, the structure tree can be switched on. Of course, the model is then scaled to fit into the screen. And the structure tree itself can be scaled by moving its border. That's it for the new structure tree in KeyView 11. More information on this, as well as other improvements like the new user interface, PMI support, new markup symbols and much more can be found on our website at www.keyview.de. Thanks for the attention and hopefully till next time.